William Dalrymple, the famous author and writer, said India is the base of the world's civilization. <laughs> and this message was sent to me by Dr. J. Prakash Alba. J. Prakash, Dr. J. Prakash Alba, when he uh, visits our institution, surrounding villages all over Russia because his touch itself is medicinalism. Even the elderly women who do not have any any kind of diseases or problems, they just come. Because just seeing the doctor and doctor touches them, they feel they get more energized, they become more young. I was shocked. <laughs> so many people, so many people around will come in this village in Devanahalli. So Dr. J. Prashalpa sent me this is the second message uh, to find out what I think about it. Dr. J. Prakash Alva, India is the base of world civilization, what William Dalrumpol Dalrumpol said is 100% correct. I wrote back to you, but I said it is not truth also. <laughs> it is 100% correct because if you look at the at India, with so many civilizations cra crashing, getting crushed into pieces, we never got crushed because we were always with the nature. We were always with the mud and the pond and the rivers and the lakes swimming and dancing. We were always with the nature climbing on the trees, plucking the trees, yes, plucking the fruits. We were always with the birds and animals and that's why Indian civilization, you William William was forced, forced to say it is the base of all civilization because the base was the love. Anybody in the world, if they love the base, that civilization stays as long as the sun rises. Because the base we have created or made our children to do the Shashtanga Namaskar. And the Shashtanga Namaskar is prostitution in front of every senior. And not only that, a prostitution in front of every senior. We have done prostitution in front of the birds and the animals and the trees and the sun and the moon. And you call it, it is a festival. <laughs> in the social media, they have been going around and checking with, asking many people, uh, what do you think about India and Indian people? And it's, many people say, I have a lot of Indian friends. They are always jolly, they are always happy. Of course, they talk a lot. <laughs> and can you believe, they have got a lot of gold ornaments. They keep on sharing it up and uh, using it among themselves. <laughs> they make varieties of dishes and eat together, laugh together. That was, I think, even after the, even after, after the Industrial Revolution and the big cities have sprung up, and they made our, our children to sit in air-conditioned rooms and made them and nobody made hard hardware engineers into software engineers. Even the whole body became soft. They couldn't even enjoy that every part of their muscle, every part of their body. They couldn't even look far deep and say they need spectacles. They couldn't even spend 200 kilometers they couldn't hug anybody because they have created a new law telling good touch, bad touch. <laughs> they have destroyed by not making them do any exercises or doing the prostration. Pro when you do the prostration, the Shashtanga um, Namaskara, you have understood that the body has to be in straight line, the stomach is gone, and the whole body get a massage when, when you do the Urlu Seva in the Shashtanga Namaskar, Urlu Seva, man, you roll. Yes, and everybody in the Indian civilization go to any temple, they roll. Yes, they touch the feet and they roll. The rolling is the greatest massage, making the body no excess fat, only skeletal muscle, no visceral fat at all. India is based on the world's civilization, the language is spoken according to 
the climatic situation, circumstances, culture of that area, and everybody accepts that language. Even if mo most of them did not understand, they don't need to understand because the understanding came only when it was put into writing in the books. Otherwise, understanding was simply added. There was no hotels and restaurants. Anybody can go to any house, children from one village to another village. Yes, it is called Aditi Devo Bhava. Yes.